Okay, so I just realized as I was watching my video that I just recorded, I realized that there was a problem with the... Uh, hmm, what was that problem? Audio and video synchronization. There was a problem with that in which what I would say would go before... Just a minute, I need to cough. Okay, so now I'm back. And there was a problem with the audio and video synchronization. When I would talk, it would go before the video. And just one sec. The audio would go before the video. And so that resulted in, yeah, the off sync. So this time I have turned on audio video synchronization. I did my audio goes before my video. I hear the words before I see the mouth movements. Delay the recording of the video stream and shift by the default. I just do the default 100 milliseconds. And um, so, unless you have already read this, I will keep it on here for a couple of seconds. And, but now I'm going to scroll down so that how do I change my language settings is now at the top okay so now it's at the top now we'll let you pause it right now and I'll pause here too now I'm going to move the troubleshooting part this part right here I'm going to move that to the top and just to let you know I am I read these also. I don't just pause, scroll down, record, pause, scroll down like that. I also read these too. So I'll let you pause it right now and I'll pause this too. About the ActiveX part, I have made it so that every time I'm on Microsoft Update on this website, it doesn't, um, it won't show it to me or I don't know if I did that or not I think I did that I'm pretty sure that I added Microsoft to the safe websites but um, anyway I did not make I have the security settings or security levels to what they are last I knew and I don't make Microsoft update run on every website so just to let you know that's how it works that's what I have currently now I will make um, I'll just see um, what it is below to change pop-up blocker settings okay I'll make why can't I view updates installation history details or troubleshooting articles I'll make that at the top yeah, I put it at the top and now I will let you pause it again and I'll pause the recording now I will put the title why can't I install some updates at the same time as other updates I'll put that up here at the top now um, I will pause this again so that people who are watching this may pause the video again. Now I'm going to make the top of this chart right here which types of updates do they deliver. I'm going to put that all the way to the top up here. And then I will pause this. I will pause the recorder again and allow, well you may pause it right now if you would like to and then I will pause the actual recorder too. I think the this is the end of the frequently asked questions page. So this is the end of the web page and I'll pause it and allow you to, every anybody to read the rest of the page.
Now, let's go to get help and support and see what they have on there. They have solve problems on your own, get answers to frequently asked questions. Options. Oh, these are just the frequently asked questions. Oh. Oh, so these, this part and that part and the part down here, those stay in the same window. Okay. So this is, these are, this website is made out of frames, I see. They have get assistance, visit the online support center, send a problem report. Uh, support for pre-release slash beta software. Visit the online support center. Fix Microsoft Windows update issues. I'm not going to uh, run this because I don't really want to uh, because there are no issues that I have, but Hmm. Let's see, what does Windows failed to start mean? Oh! I think this is from a blue screen. On Windows 7, or Windows 8. Windows 7. Oh, this is this is where the um, this isn't a blue screen of death. This is just a um, it can't turn on issue. Yeah, this um, this is where it has the last known good configuration thing. to put it right there and pause this right now. Now I'll scroll down to show the rest of this page. Method 2. Okay. Now I'll pause it again. Now I'll make the to run startup repair using the Windows installation disk or system repair disk. I'll make that at uh, well, maybe that is a blue screen of death. I don't know. Oh, stop. Blue screen errors. Now I'll just pause this so that you can read the that one. Now I'm going to go back to the Windows Update website. Now I'll open up the Administrator Options page. And I'll pause it again so that you can read it. I can read it also. So as you can see there are quite a quite a bit of administrator options and the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer um, Microsoft Download Center Office Administrator Update Center become a Microsoft Premier Support Customer. I think, well there's the Windows Update Catalog also. I uh, will open this in a new tab and I have already installed it. It won't look like this. You won't be able to see the search bar, the view basket, the welcome thing. I'm not sure what else you'll be able to see but um, I had a pop-up at, up at the top here and I installed it for all users and you can, what you can do here is you can search for updates for any version of Windows that they have that's supported I think well I'm pretty sure that it would be all that are supported oh, wait a minute I just realized up here Microsoft there's a second Microsoft update I'll delete that one
it just appeared. I, I have never seen that one before. And icons randomly change to different icons. I'm going to keep that there because um, yesterday this computer had issues with the up or the icons because the HTML icon it changed from having an Internet Explorer overlay to looking like a file that's not associated with any program. Now what, uh, I don't really know what to do now. The, hmm. Uh, I think that's about it. Let me see, Microsoft Update Home. I will look at this custom or actually I'll pick a time to install updates. This window here says help protect your PC turn on automatic updates. With automatic updates Windows can routinely check for the latest important updates for your computer and install them automatically. These updates I'm not sure um, actually I'm going to do a new video because I'm not sure if you can see this automatic updates window.